Hi everybody, welcome to my channel in MBJ Reacts. I'm not going to be doing a video reaction. This one video is about my experience with immigrations in the Philippines and what I went through to get out of the country. I left the Philippines on December 26th of last year and I arrived back in the States on the 27th of December 27th. And what happened, I knew my, uh, my, I had stayed in the Philippines for three months and I extended, um, the first 30 days was free. I extended another 30 days. They wouldn't let me extend beyond that. It had to be 30 days at a time. The second time I went to renew, to, to extend again, 30 days. I had to pay more for my extension than I expected. Reason was, though I was extending for the same amount of time, they apparently had this thing they call a tourist, uh, tourist card or something like that. And it cost a lot more than I I wasn't expecting. I expected them to basically pay the same amount I did prior, which I think was like around five five thousand pesos or three thousand. I forget exactly. It's been a while, um, so my my numbers will be a little off. But the point is, I was expecting to pay basically the same the second time around, like I did the first time, and that's when they told me no. I got to pay like 10,000 something, I believe it was, for this card. And I was like, okay. Um, so I did that. And my visa expired on the 25th, I believe it was. So when I arrived at the airport. I knew that the visa had expired the day before Christmas. It was on Christmas, it expired. And so they told me I need to go over immigrations. Okay, I expected that. So I went over to immigrations and I had done a Google search. And what I had read was that the, I had to pay a fine of like 3000 pesos. And so that's what I brought. I bought the correct amount for the fine. And then the guy tried to tell me, no, no, it costs a lot more than that. And I was like, why? And he listed off the charges. He said that I'm paying not only the fine, but also the fee to have an extension of my visa for another 30 days. I didn't say this to him because I was not trying to upset the immigration officer, but I was thinking to myself, I'm leaving the Philippines. Why would I need an extension for another 30 days when I'm leaving? Makes no friggin' sense to me. So I didn't have the money. Fortunately, I went to the airport many hours prior to my departure. So I called my my baby and told her what was going on. She, uh, I went to, to look for help. I found uh, um, a worker there at the airport and I explained the situation to her. And I explained that my girl will send you, uh, I think it's called Gcash or, or it's something, um, it's some type of digital payment app they have there in the Philippines. She would send her the money if, uh, and then she would, the lady would give me the cash, the pesos, because I didn't have enough pesos on me. So 
she she did that i got it went back to the immigration guy the same guy and he tried to tell me i owe more than what he had told me prior but this time i spoke up i said no dude no 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 you told me it was this amount again i honestly don't remember the details i think i did a video reaction or a video about this subject well generally but i didn't share all the details um but it was basically about my video about going traveling to uh back to the field uh, back to the states and i believe i put that video on my um other video uh channel i have i think it's called anyways so i'll put in the description what the, the name of that channel is i have i've only posted on it once i think it's called common sense mj common sense corner or something like that anyways um i uh spoke up told him dude you told me this and then he like oh yeah yeah you're right you're right so i gave him my money he stamped the thing and went back went through immigration everything was fine after that but what the two things that irritated me was one i think that guy was trying to get a little extra money for himself and no i did not complain to his boss i just wanted to get out of there two i think it's real bull crap that they are making you pay to extend your visa for another 30 days when you are leaving the country. Makes absolutely no sense. Now, some will say, well, you might come back within 30 days. Sure. But then I come back within 30 days. I have another 30 days for free. At least as an American, you, you have into the Philippines, you get first 30 days visa free so that doesn't justify making foreigners to pay to renew your visa for another 30 days when you are leaving the country i coming in we're leaving i would rather that they just say this is the fine how much it is if your if your visa expires then them to sit there and say well this there's this much for the fine and then there's this other fee for renewing. Makes no sense. Combine the fees together. Makes more sense to me. It's this stupid. Anyways, that's my story with immigration about when I left the uh, Philippines. Oh, yeah, the other thing. I asked the guy. I said, I showed him the, the, the tourist green... I refer to it as a green card. I, I don't. Oh, let me see if I, I don't know if I have it here with me. But I, I took it as being. I, well, I asked him. I said, "Well, what can I get for this card?" And I said, "What does what the what good is it to me?" He said that it's, uh, it's a. Uh, I can open up a bank account. Yay! I can open up a bank account. This is what it looks like. This is what I got. So it's called Alien Certificate of Registration. So I asked, and like I said, I asked him, he said, that's basically what it gets me. I can open up a bank account in the Philippines. And that this card is only good for about one year, I believe it is doesn't stop me from have to pay renew my visas though so basically then the, the philippine uh law forces foreigners to get this thing even if you don't want it again i disagree with it but this is their laws and i am one to try to respect their laws you're in their country you need to honor it you might not agree with it but don't break it just follow it so 
that again, that's basically what it is. I just want, uh, like I said, I was asked to share my story about my experience with immigration going out of the country. That was it. The rest of my trip was a nightmare as well. But again, I put that in another uh, video that is on my other uh, YouTube channel. Um, Common Sense Corner, I think it is. MJ Common Sense Corner. And uh, so if you're curious to see that, I, I put video of my, some of my video that I filmed on my trip coming back to the States. Anyways, that's it. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. It's not like Forrest Gump. Oh, that's all I, all I can say about that. <laughs> that's a poor imitation. Anyways, hope you guys uh, take something from it. Take care of yourselves and the ones you love. I still love the Philippines. Don't get me wrong. I might have bad experience with immigration, but this does not represent everybody immigration. This is specifically, specifically about one immigration officer and their immigration policy. I would personally think common sense would say you should change it. But I have more of a gripe with that immigration officer specifically because he was trying to get more money out of me than he was not required to. So, all right, take care. Bye. Thank